Hello gentle people, Jeff here. Welcome back to the carving station. Yeah, it's Christmas time soon. Uh, we are already in December. If you live up north enough, there's probably a lot of snow where you are. And then uh, that's probably why all the carvers are carving Santas and the like right now. I was trying my best to find something a little bit different, which was hard. That's why I'm a bit late. I've been carving all day yesterday on just carving multiple things and then I ended up making these um, little Christmas ornament as you can see here if I hide my face maybe yeah so this is super simple obviously uh, there's not a lot of uh, stuff in there I painted those and then this one is uh, this one is a bit different and it's not painted but yeah so this is what we'll do today you will probably be able to carve a couple for Christmas, maybe give that to your relative or put that in your Christmas tree and uh, yeah, make people happy. And uh, yeah, you should be able to do that even if it's literally your first carving. Uh, there's not that many detail in there. Uh, it's really just going on with the flow and freestyling. So I, I don't know what I would do today. We'll just make something similar. With all that said, let's get cracking. All right, so gloves on, favorite knife, favorite piece of wood. The, um, the measurement will be in the description as the, my pieces of wood are always the same. Um, which is, for this, like I said, super, super simple. Um, I don't know, I will probably just, maybe we could try something in between these. Um, the important part is basically having the center at the top and then the center at the bottom if you want to make a little pointy thing like I've done and then we could uh, maybe have a line uh, here I don't have any measurement because it's really up to you if you want a long pointy end or a shorter one it depends on where you will put your line and then i'll make something similar to this one and then after that we can kind of carve in these little ball ends at the top at the bottom or something like this so that's it for the line really um and then for your knife uh you literally just are going to swipe cut all the way um, starting with the corners remove as much as you can then you go on the other corner like so and it creates this sort of shape then you Again, from the corners, remove more wood. The goal right here is to remove the wood all the way to the middle to create a pointy end. So it's not the most amazing thing to do, but this is what has to be done. always easier like I always say to carve from the corners uh, you can obviously carve from a flat plane but you there's less it's um, harder to remove a lot of wood so if you do that just go where you see the, the corners it's easier to carve Okay, so we're almost done here for the top. See, it's really not complicated for now. All right, that's the little pointy top. I think to help you, uh, because at some point holding it, especially with the corners, it's a bit uncomfortable for your hand, so you can remove the, the corners. It will be a little bit more comfortable to hold. Anyway, we're going to remove that wood. 
So you will do the same thing for that part, which requires more bigger swipes. There's a lot more wood to remove. But you get the gist of it. So I will also fast forward that part. And uh, when I have done the shape that looked like this one, we'll be back together. Okay, so here we go. That was a lot of work. Um, so now I will just pop these corners because they were kind of hurting my hand. Okay, so we have the shape. We can literally just end with that, right? And that would be that would be okay. But as you've seen with those, I have a little little bit at the top um, just to put the little wire around it or whatever else you want to use for that. So um, to do this, you just need to be careful now because everything will be a bit flimsy, but uh, it's a uh, little V cuts all around. Be really, really careful. I start with the top first and then I go in on the side, not the opposite because it's easier to get a stop cut that way. All right, that was a bit too high. Can we adjust? Okay, so here we have the little the bits at the top so that could be it that could be your your thing and then you could paint it with uh, all the colors that you want and uh, be done so you could stop the video there do one and then do another one but uh, we'll do a bit more um, like I said you just have to freestyle what you want so for example like this guy there's a lot of different shapes in it so I think I'll make a, I think I'll make one around here maybe if I draw a line around all right like this then same thing we'll do a little V cut little by little. Okay, so we got the look at the shape. We could uh, remove even more on each side. As long as you don't make it too thin, the wood will uh, be strong enough to hold. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, what else could we do? I think I could create another one, just maybe. Let's create one around here. And then another thing here. Maybe we could create some sort of ball if we separate those two. Let's try that. So once again, Coming from the top first and at the side, 
I find it safer. Just put a little bit of strength. Don't want to break it. So now it's separated. So I will go carve in an angle inwards. like a ball a ball a ball sorry sorry my English and then carve upward from here be I will be really careful So you can look at them if you are interested in uh, these shapes. Like I said, it's really, uh, really up to you. All right, this is a this is a ball, a flat plane ball. Could maybe round these a little bit. to be a bit more pointy to square at the end there we go I could burst something with this all right anything else we could do with this big thing here you could carve some letters if you want to, you could carve any sort of pattern, like here I've done some sort of a little uh, triangle shape, you know, going around. And uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Is it good enough? I could create just another little separation here, just, just for the sake of it. But you see... Uh, you see where I'm going with this? It's uh, super simple. And you can make a lot of those in no time. The only annoying part is the wood removal. You could start from a cylinder also. That's another thing I was thinking about. Instead of uh, keeping the square shape. You could just round the whole thing as a cylinder and then remove the thing, so it would look pretty nice, I'm sure. Oh, that was a big one. I was a bit too high on one side. Uh, 
All right. So here it is. See? I don't need more. That's uh, different than the others I've done. And uh, the only thing needed now is just a good coating of oil. And then you can even put that straight as in, in the Christmas tree. Or uh, do some little shenanigans with some paint. All right, and for the painting, uh, that's really easy. Uh, this is how I've made a video out of it uh, a couple of months ago. But uh, how I paint my uh, all my carvings, uh, not just these uh, ornaments, but all of my little guys. Um, you just need acrylic paint, water, and your piece of wood. And you're pretty much good to go. My, my little bucket of water is outside the camera, but I have water right here. Uh, that I dip my uh, pencil in. So this one I will go for a classic uh, Christmas color. I will go for a little bit of red and a little bit of green. So I just put a little bit of red right here. Probably more than that. And uh, I don't go and straight with my pencil with the red. I will I go in the water and I put water on my little plate right here. So, and then I go get the color with it, so it dilutes the paint. And then after that, I uh, apply the paint on the carving. So the different color have different pigments. Uh, there's colors who are way, I don't know how the wood works with them, but this red, for example, is really, really light, which I like uh, because you can really easily see the green. So you just keep on, and then when you run out of water color, you just add more water. It's important when you apply your uh, coating of oil to wait a couple of hours. I'm usually impatient and I paint uh, after like maybe 30 minutes or something. It works, but it's better if you wait like a whole day. If you carve and then you wait a whole day and then you paint after the oil will have soaked in uh, the wood really well and then it prevents the diluted paint to bleed in all the cracks. Alright, so I think I'll put, I'll put red there too. The cool thing is that it also dries really, really fast. And adding more water also requires less paint from your tube. I usually apply only one coating because um, I really, really want to keep the green. And then I think I'll go for the little tip red too to use all of my red. Okay, there it is for now. One other thing you need that I forgot is a piece of paper. Just to dry off the pencil. There we go. And then I will add some green. And then once again, water. We'll get the green and then add that in the painting. See, this green is even lighter than the red, it goes straight into the wood. It's almost a stain, in fact. That's really cool. And then a little tippy top. Okay. See, it's already dry, so I can hold it here. Add more water. All right. It's as simple as that. So we have the colors now. If you want, you could add another coating or two or three or four. It's up to you. 
but at some point if you just add more you will lose the grain and then it doesn't really change anything if you dilute the acrylic or not but I never end my painting like this I always do a little bit of dry brushing at the end with white just to if you can see from this one I don't know if it will zoom or not yeah you can see all the edges coming out right I do that with my little Viking guys also it's it makes the uh, edge uh, pop out so I just put a little bit of white or too much uh, this you don't dilute though uh, this is really important uh, you don't want to put that in water so you take your uh, pencil you take a little bit of white and you apply that everywhere so if you go straight everything will be right it will be white right so you just remove almost all the paint on your pencil and then you brush it off okay like so the tip of your pencil and as you can see yeah you can see now compared to this side you can see the difference reflects the light and everything so you do that pretty much on uh, where everywhere where there's a cut when there's an edge it usually doesn't affect the flat plane but for the edges it's really cool if you have too much white on your pencil you would just apply more white and I think for this specific instance I guess it's okay because you know we're talking about Christmas ornament so it will almost look like it's snowed on it or something like this And here it is, pretty much. Red, green, a little bit of white. And that's pretty much it. All right, so I hope it was simple enough. Uh, that's probably the simplest thing I've ever carved uh, for you guys. So that's the one we've done today together, which is uh, really, really simple, right? I applied a little um, coating of oil behind camera and then that's the one I've painted just a uh, two color green and red with a little bit of dry brush and white and uh, yeah I'll just literally go hang that on my Christmas tree straight away and I hope you will do the same with yours you can probably pump like a dozen a day <laughs> if you want it's really really simple and super quick to make so yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed and uh, if we don't see each other before christmas i will wish you a happy holiday and happy whatever you celebrate at this time of year and we will see each other in the next video Bye bye